We'll talk about a tough class. A local college professor turned a field into a battleground. Not your traditional classroom experience. It's an interactive study that used weapons to test an ancient type of armor reconstructed by UW Green Bay students. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has the story. If you doubt these pieces of fabric could protect you from this, think again. There we go. Nice. University of Wisconsin Green Bay history professor Greg Aldretti is giving his students a hands-on experience testing an ancient armor called linothorax, and it's helping them understand more about a famous warrior. Alexander the Great is one of the greatest conquerors the world has ever known. He conquered the entire world at his time, and this is the armor that his soldiers wore. So if we can understand how this helped his men be so successful, it helps to explain why he was so successful. That understanding becomes clearer with every test. The bottom line from a lot of the arrow shoots is that if you're wearing that armor there, which is about one centimeter thick, uh, you would have been safe from any of the kinds of arrows you would have encountered in the ancient world. Even though it's cloth, when the arrow hits it, it flexes, and so it disseminates the force of the arrow and saves you. But the armor hasn't been easy to reconstruct. Every single example of it has rotted away and disappeared over the last 2,000 years. Aldretti says he and some students used pictures from ancient artwork and descriptions from ancient writings to figure out how to recreate the armor without any physical examples. But that hasn't been the hardest part. The worst thing I would say is probably the time. Um, I mean, you have to do each layer individually, and you have to let it sit for, I think, it's what, 20 hours? But the payoff is hours of experimental fun and surprise. I expected at first to shoot through it, but uh, I was surprised it only went in 10, 12 millimeters. However, that was in ancient Greece. Aldretti says modern weapons would tear through the armor, which is why you won't find any volunteers for human targets. So would you wear this as protection? Uh, provided they had the old style bowls, yes. <laughs> in Green Bay, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. Okay for its time and its place. Aldretti and one of his students are working on writing a book about their research with the armor.